Hey guys, Vesper here, and uh, this is going to be the first chapter of uh, my tutorial section. Um, there's a lot of stuff to cover, and I'm going to put them into a chapter segment. So uh, if you guys have anything that you guys want to know, or any type of advice, or any type of information, uh, just make sure you PM me, and then I'll take everybody's idea, and I'll just go through them one-on-one, -on -one and just basically just start answering things. Um, one thing I want to get, uh, I'm definitely going to uh, talk about uh, joysticks and controllers because that's a very, very common question on what kind of joystick to get or if they should stick with controller or whatnot. So I'm definitely going to go over that in detail. But uh, first thing I want to do is go over just some things um, that are outside the game just to make sure um, before I go through all this, all this information. So first thing I want to cover is internet and uh, Internet is very important because everyone's going to be playing each other online. That's going to be your main way of practicing and learning the game is online. So um, just going to tell really, really basic information on on internet just because some people might not know. And, uh, you know, there's no point of, of even starting to begin to learn the stuff I'm going to teach you if, if you do not even have a proper online setup. So if you check the... The bottom. If you check the description, I'm gonna list a ton of links in this uh, this video. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna keep this video as short as possible. I'm not gonna ramble on too much. But uh, if you want to know detailed information, make sure you check out uh, the description box in this video. And I'm gonna post a bunch of links so that if you have the time, you can you read it yourself and learn. Um, first thing I'm gonna cover is wireless versus wired. It's very very important that you have a wired connection. Now, I know wireless is a lot better than it was before, and I know a lot of people say that they have their wireless routers right beside their consoles, but no matter what, wired is better than wireless. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter if, if your router is on top of your Xbox. Wired, wired is going to be better. So uh, if it's possible, if you don't have to tear your house down and you're just too lazy to put a cord on the floor, make sure that you hook up wired. Uh, it's going to help all of us out. Um, there's no trafficking, no interference, it's just a direct connection. So wired is, is the best thing to uh, improve your internet connection. Um, second thing, but this is only for uh, cable users. If you have DSL, then just ignore this part. Um, basically, it's splitters. Um, hopefully you guys know what a splitter is, but basically, wherever your cable, your coaxial cable, enters your home, your apartment, or whatever, it will go into a splitter first and it will split into a bunch of other cable cords and uh, they'll all go to different things like your digital TV uh, and a bunch of a uh, bunch of ports in your house so um, another way to improve your connection and this you know this doesn't really matter too much unless you have a ton of things hooked up if you have a splitter that has like six um, six different ports in it then uh, make sure you check to see how many decibels you're losing um, if you have like six different things and your TV and all that hooked up at once it, it could slow down your connection um, even before it, it hits your modem if you live in a very busy home and uh, with your family and everyone's using uh, different things for all your cable and that um, one thing you do might want to check is uh, picking up a powered splitter uh, power splitters will, will optimize your your connection um, before it hits your modem, but keep in mind it's not, it's not gonna it's not gonna like amplify it better than it would have been. It would just make it as strong as the signal can be. It it won't make your signal stronger uh, per se. So keep that in mind too. All right, and the last thing is routers. Pretty much everyone has a router. If you got a router, it's gonna have some type of firewall and it's gonna slow down your connection no matter what. Um, nothing really much you can do there except for uh, um, open up your ports for your Xbox or PS3. Um, I'll have a detailed link on how to open your ports if you don't know how to. And uh, like I said, guys, this, this is just this is just advice. Just if you happen to have a slow connection, you know, if, if everyone is three bars to you, then obviously something is wrong. Um, you know, I don't I don't want you guys to tear your houses open just so you can start playing Super Street Fire 4. But this is just common knowledge. And one more thing, guys, is that. For your internet service provider, just keep in mind that upload speed is way more important than download speed when you're playing games in general. So, um, 
find out your package deal and then check out speedtest.net which I'll list in my description just to see what your upload speed is and check what your service provider says it should be upload speed is very very important um, I recommend at least one up if you don't have at least one up then you have a poor connection um, it doesn't matter if you have a hundred down or or whatever download speed isn't that significant it's more important about you sending your information to your opponent than uh, receiving furthermore um, obviously don't download <laughs> don't download or stream while you're playing Super Street Fighter 4 please do us all a favor and don't and you, you can have a five bar connection but if the guy is streaming or downloading torrents torrents are the worst if you're downloading torrents please do not upload and um, yeah that's that's pretty much it um, for internet I'm just gonna cover that real quick um, um, the reason I'm telling you guys this is that to make sure that your guys is game is on an equal level as mine so that when I teach you guys something you know it's not due to lag or something and nothing else is screwing you up alright second outside of uh, Street Fighter thing that I want to go over is uh, setups basically your TV setups um, now most people are using monitors and LCD TVs, plasma TVs now and um, in case uh, you've been living in a cave um, they have different refresh rates and they could lag your game now, when you're playing FPS games like Halo or Modern Warfare 2, it's not that significant because the game it doesn't really need to be that precise. The, it doesn't have to be like that. Um, Street Fighter, um, the higher end combos in the game, they come down to a single frame. And that's 1 60th of a second. And when you have something, a combo that you're trying to do at 1 60th of a second, you do not want any lag whatsoever on your monitor, your screen, or your TV. Well, how do you know if your setup lags? Well, some people can tell just by ducking or jumping and just seeing the delay on their character. But um, even if it tells you a refresh rate, even if it says 2ms, does not necessarily mean it does not lag. Um, that doesn't help at all. What you're going to need is, if you really want to know, uh, you're going to have to test it. And there's a couple ways to test it. Uh, one way I'm going to tell you to test it is uh, using a couple games, which I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so some of the games, these games have calibration tests. So there's Guitar Hero 2, Guitar Hero 3. I don't think Rock Band 1 has a calibration test. Someone correct me on that, but I think it has like some kind of auto calibration thing. I'm not sure. Someone get to me on that. I really don't know. But uh, Rock Band 2, I think that's Rock Band 2 is the best one because it has an audio, audio uh, calibration and a video. And... Um, I'm not really going to show you guys, like I said, I'm going to save time on this, but basically what it does is it goes into a test and it'll, it'll show um, something coming down the screen and you have to hit it at the same time and it'll use this audio as well. And uh, basically it'll just tell how much your screen or TV or whatever you're using is off. Um, I say if it's higher than 20, 20 MS, you got yourself a leggy setup and uh, I don't recommend it. That's all I have to say about it. I don't. I'm not saying for you guys to go out and you know buy legless setups, but I want you to know that it's not your fault that you can't land those combos. But if you got a lazy setup, you know, tough. Um, if you want to know what the best absolute setup is, um, you would have to use a tube TV, and those are those really, really old, ugly, heavy TVs that you have stored in your attic. Um, those are the absolute best TVs. They have zero lag, but you know it looks ugly. So. But they're, they're obviously, it doesn't matter, like, the technology is pretty good these days. There's not too much lag anymore. Um, if you have a t uh, big LCD or plasma TV, make sure you check the options for a game mode. And uh, the game mode will help you um, reduce the lag significantly. And uh, check my description. There's a, I'll post a link in this too for a, a video. And uh, it will show you the difference in the lag and how you can test it. So that's very important. There are, however, uh, such things as near legless monitors. They're, they're the monitors they use in hospitals and stuff like that, but uh, you can definitely buy them on the market. Um, I'm not sure I recall which ones they are. Um, I'm sure you can find them very easily if you just find it on YouTube or just link legless monitors, and you can, I'm sure you can find one, especially for gaming. Um, they're definitely not a diamond in the rough. So yeah, those are pretty much two quick basic things that you guys can... Uh, can check up before you even start and that's internet and your setup uh, for leg so let's get right to it and uh, start the next tutorial 
And remember, if there's any information you guys want, um, check the description. I'll post a bunch of links in case you guys want to indulge yourself in more information. And um, if there's any more questions that I didn't cover or anything you guys want to know, make sure you just drop me up a PM and I might make another video and uh, cover more if it's more popular of a question. So I'm going to get started right now on uh, joysticks versus controllers.